Hi guys, welcome back to Harry Makes Up. I hope you're really, really well. Um, we got a puppy and he's on my lap right now. He's called Paddington. He's very gorgeous. Um, I wanted to show you today some ideas of how to do red lipstick, makeup to go with your red lipstick basically, kind of an alternative to just wearing a winged liner, um, a few ideas of how to wear them. And I'm gonna be showing you Lisa Eldridge's new lipsticks with swatches. So I'll show you Paddington. Here he is. Look, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Paddington. Who's that? He's my little kangaroo baby. Um, he's very, very gorgeous and I'm very much in love. Um, he's very sleepy right now, so I'm gonna let him sleep and I'm gonna crack on with the video. So I did purchase the uh, three lipsticks that come in this little velvet makeup bag, which is very pretty. Um, and I believe this was 75 pounds for all three, which I think in dollars cost me about $99. The packaging is this very lovely, simple, modern gold. Um, and it's so impossible to get the texture of this on film. I'll see if I can do a cutaway, but there might be better photos in the blog post. Um, but they are all embossed with this kind of uh, velvet appearance as if the lipstick were actually ma made of velvet, but that is created from pieces of lipstick, which very impressed with that. Um, I'm gonna do swatches of all three so you can see how they kind of work with the makeup I'm gonna do. So to start with, I am using Smashbox the Primerizer, the photo finish one. It's a very kind of fluid formula, but I find this is nice when I've already got a bit of skincare on and I just wanna add a little bit more glow, a little bit more slip to my skin. It's really nice under most foundations and I would say generally on lots of different skin types. Um, obviously, I think with a red lipstick, like just a black feline flick always looks lovely. Um, but a lot of people say to me, you know, what happens if I want to do a little bit of colour on my eye, a little bit of something? Um, so I'm going to show you my kind of go-to if I'm wearing a red-toned lipstick. Um, foundation today, I'm still loving this Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation, which I'm going to use. This was in my current favourites video. I'll link it up here if you haven't already seen that. And I'm still loving it with this Hourglass brush as well. This one, and then the one that was in my favourites is my Honest Beauty brush, but that is in the wash currently. So I'm just gonna take this, and my face is a little bit paler than the rest of my body still from summer. I feel like my face always loses its tan quickest. So I'm just gonna do a quick coat. And I just love this foundation because it buffs in really, really well. It's the right side of dewy without being kind of too full on for every day. Um, and I find it quite long lasting for a cushion foundation. And I'm actually gonna take this over my eyes as well to use as kind of a base. For eyeshadow because I'm feeling far too lazy to use a natural eye primer today so using this kind of does the trick um and then for brows today I'm going to use an old favorite something I haven't used for ages this is the NYX professional uh pre precision brow pencil I'm struggling my words today guys um you're probably not going to see a lot of my brows anyway because my bangs are so long um and I'm filming with studio light today because it's night time at the time of filming this and I really really wanted to get this video out for this weekend so I hope you guys don't mind so that it's studio light sometimes you guys prefer studio light but just giving my brow a little bit of definition I think what I'm gonna do is go straight into eyeshadow now for me if I'm wearing a red lipstick I actually think you can't be a kind of coppery tone eyeshadow or anything that kind of sits within the red undertone family even gold eyeshadow looks absolutely amazing um, like gold bronzes look really flattering with a red lip especially if you're kind of going for something a little bit more paired back anyway with the lip um, this palette is from morphe um, this is the day slayer palette i believe and believe it or not like these are the kind of tones i think for eyes actually look really really great with red lipstick um, obviously you don't have to go as bright on the spectrum you could go more on the paler side and in fact i think the one i'm going to use today is spark so this one here I'm going to use to show you guys exactly what I mean. And this is a really affordable palette, the Morphe one. So I find it great for, um, I think it's like 14 bucks or something like that. So I'm just going to take a MAC 217 and I'm going to go in that, with that shade Spark. And I think as well sometimes there is something really pretty about the contrast of kind of like a shimmery eye with a matte lip. It just kind of lifts everything a little bit. And I find with a shade like this as well, what's clever is you can see it kind of gives you a natural shadow because it's shimmery. And I think sometimes we underestimate the power of like a good shimmer shadow. And it's a nice contrast with the red matte lip. So I'm just going to take this all over the eye. And then I'm just going to kind of buff through the edges. So like I said, so it's just a nice bit of like natural shadow. 
going through the crease of the socket. And obviously you could intensify this, but I actually really like the way you get that kind of natural shadow because it's a shimmer. And I am actually gonna go in, I think, with a smaller brush. I'm just gonna go with a kind of pencil style brush and take that same color actually onto the lower lash line. So I'm just gonna apply this here because I actually think the shimmer gives a nice kind of subtle shadow to the lower part of the eye as well. And then I think with red lipstick, obviously the kind of go-to look for most people is kind of a feline flick with like a black wing liner or even like a brown is lovely. You guys know I love my Sephora liners or my Kiko, like a bronzy liquid liner, it looks gorgeous. Also nice if you want to skip the eyeshadow. But if you're wanting something that doesn't involve lots of kind of technical work, especially because the lip might be quite a technical feature of the look, then what I suggest is just curling your lashes really, really well so that you have like a really, really intense lash curl and then just going in with lots of mascara and we're just going to kind of fill in any gaps that we need to so i'm going to give a really good lash curl then i'm going to go in with some of my favorite l'oreal this is the paradise ecstatic waterproof mascara i still am in love with this guys and i'm really going to coat my lashes which i think if you love a red lip look even for me kind of just wearing um, a red lipstick with no eyeshadow at all and just mascara is very chic. Or forget the mascara completely, that also looks incredible. Um, for me, I love the look of my eyelashes with this mascara. And then I'm gonna take with what's left on the uh, applicator, just a little bit under my eyes as well. Just to give a little bit of polish. And I think if you wanna make it really discreet here, you could always just take a bit of the excess off the, tish off the wand with a tissue. Because I just want this more like in the roots. So they look a little bit feathery underneath. And I'm just gonna pull any bits that kind of look kind of too done. So for concealer, I'm gonna use a little bit of my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Light Neutral. And I haven't used this for a while, actually. I forget how much I love this. So I'm just gonna go under my eyes. And I'm just gonna use this to brighten a little bit. Just a little bit there. And I might do a little bit of my chin. And one tip I will say, if you're doing a red lipstick and you want it to look really perfect, just doing like a little M on the top of your lip, almost like a milk moustache. Just makes the lip area look really polished when you come to doing the lip. So then I'm gonna take a Real Techniques brush and I'm just gonna buff that in. And just make sure the edges of your lips are really, really clean for when you come to do your red lip. And don't you just love concealer? Concealer brings everything together. And like I said earlier, rather than kind of going in with like a highlightery shade with the eyeshadow, you can even just use what's on your concealer brush, just onto that inner area after you've done your eyeshadow, just to make sure it looks really nice and awake. So I think we should do the lips now before we do anything blush-wise. And the first one I'm going to use is, I'm going to use Velvet Ribbon. Now this is the one Lisa describes as her kind of classic true red that suits everybody. Um, there's definitely a little bit of blue in here, but I think this reminds me, it's quite similar to kind of like Mac Ruby Woo, the color. So if you like Mac Ruby Woo, I imagine you'll probably love this color. And I think this is probably the one most people are gonna go for. So I'm gonna shut up and apply it. And I'm gonna do it from the bullet because I think it's nice for you guys. To, most people are gonna do it from the bullet and then I might use a lip brush to touch up afterwards. Oh wow, okay. That is like proper pigment, intense pigment. Feels really silky. Ooh, okay. And now I'm just gonna tidy up. Oh, it's so funny, the velvety bit. I don't wanna ruin it, it looks so pretty. So that's kind of like just doing it all from the bullet. Um, you can see that colour is so intense and I feel like these kind of colours are so face brightening straight away. They just make everyone look really glorious. So I am going to take a lip brush now and just tidy up. I'm not going to use a lip liner because, again, I think most people will probably just buy the lipstick. Um, so I'm going to use a lip brush though, just to perfect. So that one is Velvet Ribbon, and I'm gonna show you the blush I would use if you wanted something kind of really, really neutral. I think uh, this one, this is called Bareback. This is from, this is a cream blush. You guys know I'm gonna use a cream. This is by Nude Sticks, and I love their formula. They're called the Matte uh, Nudies, and so like a matte face color, but they are a cream. So they obviously look like a cream, but without being super, super sheeny. 
and this colour, you can see it's kind of almost nothingy. Um, I'll show you what I mean when I put it on. I just find this is a really good shade with red lips because it gives you a little bit of something but without kind of taking away from the actual lipstick. Um, and another thing Lisa does say that you can do obviously is use the lipstick, kind of take it off the bullet to add some of the colour to your cheek. But I find this is a really good, see what I mean, just neutral blush. It gives you like a little bit of something, but it's not a pink, it's not a red, it's not a coral, it's kind of just that, like your cheeks have been slightly pink, slightly cold outside. And I really, really love this blush with red lipstick. I use it a lot in my pro kit because I just find it such a good go-to. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more in the center and I'm just gonna use my finger to blend that in. And I just find these are so great because it's slightly more matte cream as well. It does actually last really, really well. I'm gonna use a little bit of highlight because who doesn't love highlight? And I think I'm gonna use, not that one, I'm gonna use the shade where have I put it? Um, another one of the Nude Sticks um, creams. I absolutely love these. This is Illuminati, um, and this is kind of like a gold and silver pearl. So again, it's quite neutral. And I'm just gonna use this on top of my cheekbones for a little bit of sheen, because I think it's nice to have the contrast of the sheen with the matte lip. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit on my bridge, not at the end of my nose. I just like to kind of dab it all over. Um, that is the first lipstick. Let me know what you guys think. That is Velvet Ribbon and um, yeah, let's try some others. So the next colour I'm going to try is Velvet Morning. Now this one is a slightly more kind of orangey red, so it's a little bit more fiery. But again, you can see how well it goes with this kind of bronze tone eyeshadow. Um, so I am going to apply this one now. Ooh, I do like this. This is gorgeous. Ooh. So that was kind of just one swipe top and bottom and then kind of blotting. Um, I love the shade of this. I am always drawn to like an orangey red, especially when I feel a bit bored of my makeup or need freshening up. Um, let's go in with a lip brush and just perfect a little bit as well. So I'm just gonna clean my brush and I'm gonna go back in with that same one. Now, one thing I will say would be a beautiful way to wear them as well, if someone, if you are like myself buying all the set of three, try doing scarlet, is it ribbon? Ribbon scarlet, velvet, ri velvet ribbon, that's the one, velvet ribbon, all over and then popping this in the center. And I think that would look so, so beautiful. Um, so I'm just gonna tidy up now. Just using a lip brush, but the, it does feel so comfortable. So this is Velvet Morning and I think this is so beautiful. I feel like this always becomes like a default shade to me. I love a kind of orangey red. I just find it so face brightening. Um, and I really think Lisa's done a great job at kind of making these suit all skin tones as well. Um, so Velvet Morning, what do we think guys? Okay, so last but not least is uh, Velvet Jazz. And again, this is the color I would kind of default to, especially this time of year. I love bricky brown reds. And this one definitely leans more on the brown tone, which I think is so hard to find. Most kind of darker reds go straight into the berry tone with more kind of like pinky blue undertones. Um, so let's put this one on, because I'm really excited to try this. They literally do like glide on as you pop them on. It almost feels like you're putting a creamy lipstick on, not a matte lipstick. Um, which really excites me. Mm, I love this color. It kind of feels a little bit Bieber, which I really like, like 70s Bieber. So that's just me kind of, oh, I love this color. This color is right up my street. So I'm just gonna go back in with a lip brush and just make this a little bit tidier. So guys, this one is Velvet Jazz, and I think this is my favorite. It, it feels so sophisticated. It really has that nice amount of like brownie, like I said, there's no blue in it, which I love. It looks so, it just, oh, it feels so timeless. It feels very kind of like 70s Bieber, which I'm really, really into. Um, and with my hair, I feel almost a little bit 1920s, which I'm into with this color. So what I will do, guys, is I will let you know how long they lasted, how long the wear time was, etc., in the blog post, which will be linked with this video. So you can get all the details, prices, availability, kind of more about the undertones, etc., all in the blog post. 
Um, I just wanted to do this video today as a way to give you some ideas how to wear red lipstick without just having to do kind of a flick liner, like an eyeliner um, with liquid eyeliner or gel liner, which I also think looks really timeless too, and I often do that. But sometimes it's nice just to have something that's kind of like a little bit of color to the eye with a red. So don't be afraid of trying that out. Um, for me, this is my favorite color, hands down. It is so exquisite. It feels that nice kind of like 1970s Bieber, a little bit of 20s in there. It's kind of that nice bricky red that feels really, really elegant and sophisticated without being a berry. Um, almost like a sort of deep blood red, which I really, really love. Um, I love the colours, I think Lisa's done an amazing job. I kind of, I had high hopes and I think I knew she couldn't disappoint. I feel like the texture is lovely, the packaging is gorgeous. Everything that's about this product screams um, someone that has intense knowledge in the industry and amazing skill, which Lisa does. So well done Lisa, they're amazing and congratulations. Um, let me know which one is your favorite, if you'll be picking up all three or maybe one. For me, if I had to just pick one, it would be Velvet Jazz because this just feels like quite a different color that I don't have many of this kind of color in my own collection. Um, I really love it. And yeah, let me know what you think of the makeup look if you guys will be trying it. Um, again, blog post will be linked down below. I would love it if you guys subscribe and I'll see you soon for videos. Thanks so much guys, bye.